there isn't going to be radical equity yes. at all levels of analysis in the candidate pool. And so you That's have to true. forego that. And it certainly seems, I would say, that on the left side of things now, people are almost entirely unwilling to forego that equity outcome. I mean, even Kamala Harris, who should have known better, tweeted out a few weeks ago her support for this concept of equity. And people who aren't paying attention think that means equality of opportunity, which is not what it means at all, which is why it's a different word. It means that if the outcomes of the selection process aren't equal across all conceivable combinations of ethnicity and gender and sex, et cetera, that uh, intersectional morass, then the system is by definition exclusionary and prejudiced. And that, well, that just kills, that just kills merit, assuming that merit is not completely equally distributed. Now, one other question on the female front. So one of the things that's disturbed my conscience with regards to women on the front lines is that there's always the possibility that you'll fall into the hands of the enemy. And it wasn't very much fun for, let's say, British and American prisoners of war in Nazi camps in uh, World War II, although there were some Geneva Convention arrangements that were still in place. But I can't imagine what it would be like to be a frontline woman who fell into enemy hands. I mean, that's a level of absolute bloody catastrophic hell that I think that that we should be very, very cautious about exposing anyone to. And so I have a proclivity to think that women are differentially susceptible to exploitation on the captured enemy front. And I don't know exactly, you know, given credence to what you say about making sure we have the most qualified people, you know, maybe you can ask people to face their death. I don't know if you're, if it's okay to ask them to face endless gang rape and then death.